Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom offline message for your Joomla website. And we're going to do this by using a plugin called N3T coming soon. Now, you can go ahead and use the traditional core ability of Joomla to have an offline message, which works very well and is sufficient for most people and applications. However, sometimes you may just want a custom, nicer looking uh, offline HTML screen or page that you can direct your visitors to while you're working on the site uh, that will maybe share some basic contact info or kind of in an attractive way uh, pique their appetite and interest in what you're about to reveal in the coming weeks or months. So this is one method that you can use to do that. So let's get started. The first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to go and grab the extension that we need, N3T coming soon. And to do this, we'll go ahead and go to the Joomla extensions directory and look for this particular plugin so that we can download it. All right, so here I've located the plugin. N3T coming soon. You will notice it's good for Joomla 1.5 all the way to 2.5 and the developer has been nice enough to make it a non-commercial version so it's free. We will click to go to the download section well, we, where we will be presenting with a few choices. Here we'll notice the N3T coming soon uh, files and you'll notice that there's two. Of course, uh, the one that has the ending J1.5 is for a Joomla 1.5 site, and the file labeled J16 is for Joomla sites 1.6 all the way to 2.5. In this case, I'm working with a Joomla 1.5 site, so I'm going to download this file here. All right, once we've done that, we'll want to go into the back end of our Joomla website to our installation and extension manager and go ahead and upload and install the particular extension we just downloaded. All right, once that's accomplished, let's go ahead and go to our uh, extensions and our plugin manager so we can play with some of the settings that come with this extension. This extension is located usually toward the bottom in your system plugins. And here we've located N3T coming soon. Let's go ahead and open it and look at some of its basic settings. You're welcome to go ahead and play with any of these settings here. This extension comes with uh, some nice uh, options that you can play with. But the two we'll be particularly interested in are this one called the get parameter and this one called the custom file location. In order to use this uh, plugin, there's a couple of ways that you can tell the plugin that you're authorized to view and work on the site. Uh, one of them is by putting in the IP address of the computer you'll be working from, or you can put a get parameter which if we look at this explanation, basically what it is, is you tell the plugin uh, what keyword or code word you would like to be able to use to tell it that you're authorized to view the site. Now, in order to use it, you'll notice at the bottom of the description that at the end of the URL, example.com in this case, you would add or append question mark the keyword equals one. Now in this case we are not going to use the keyword soon, we'll use the keyword coming. If you like you can use any word that uh, suits your fancy. All this will mean now is that at the end of the URL when we're all finished when it gives us the offline message we'll want to append to the end question mark coming equals one. Then of course down here the custom file is where uh, you tell where the redirect file should be located on your Joomla website. And we'll talk about that more in just a moment. 